What's up everyone, ODC here, and today we're gonna do my Smuggler's Bounty. Smuggler's Bounty. The quilted thing can pick you up Smuggler's Bounty. The box is open, what do we have? Now, I think this one's themed was, uh, um, what was it themed? Original trilogy or something? But, first things first, we got a pin. And it is that of Chewbacca. Pretty cool. And next we have a 40th anniversary pin, or a patch, excuse me. Pretty cool. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so there's only two things in here. All right, three things. Wow, big box, there's only three things. <laughs> Star Wars sweatbands. <laughs> Maybe I'll use these for work or something. <laughs> and next we have Han Solo salt and pepper shakers and Greedo salt and pepper shaker. So, pretty cool. Maybe I'll put those on the stove. And then the big one, so we got that, and we got this, and we got this. The big one is the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. Pretty cool. Luke Skywalker on his land speeder bobblehead. Bobbly bobble, 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 bobble. So there we go. There is the smuggler's bounty. Pretty cool. And I'll give you guys another look at the land speeder. Comes with a little base underneath too, so it looks like it's floating. So that's pretty cool. Here's the back. Pretty awesome. I still want this Luke Skywalker, the um, exclusive from, I don't know why I passed on it when I was, uh, at uh, celebration, but I did. But I did. You did. You did it. You done did it. It is Crimson Empire 2. If you guys are interested in Crimson Empire 2, there it is. Pretty cool book. Picked it up for 10 doll hairs. Doll hairs. My battery's about to die. All right, last little box is, what is it? Oh, don't you know, it's Bastula. What a Bastula you are. I got this from an overseas seller. Took a little while to get here, but I finally have Bastula. So, pretty cool. So we got Smuggler's Bounty right here, and we got Crimson Empire 2, Volume 2, um, and then we got Bastula. So. That's pretty much it for the unboxing. Let me What's up everybody? Got a little box from Shapeways. Um, I haven't been doing videos like this lately. Simply because I wanted to focus on more review style stuff. But don't worry, I'm still going to do videos like this here and there. <sighs> but, got this little teeny box from Shapeways. About to go to work. And got it in the mail. And I wanted to show you guys what I got. So, okay, cool. First one is the prototype Boba Fett uh, rifle. Now these are all custom. These are 3D printed. Um, you can get them in white or black, whichever you prefer. I got it in black just because that's what the rifle looked like or the blaster rifle looked like. So there's his first blast blaster rifle. And then here's this little blaster pistol which is gonna go nicely in his holster. So I'm gonna give that to my Black Series prototype Boba Fett. I'm gonna give him both of these. Uh, and you can pick these up at shapeways.com if you want to. I will leave the link in the description box below so you don't have to flood me with comments of asking me where I got these. Shapeways.com, it's that simple, just type it in. Okay, here's a, a, another blaster I picked up. It's an Imperial blaster right there. Okay, and then I picked up the Imperial Pilot blaster pistol, which um, I might actually give this to, to uh, Lieutenant Oxio from that uh, uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive four pack. So those are the four I picked up. And uh, real quick, I'll just grab uh, Prototype Boba Fett so you guys can see what it looks like with him in his hand. Okay, and we're back with all the blasters out of packaging, and I've got Lieutenant Oxio here. I've got uh, um, a scout trooper, and we've got uh, prototype Boba Fett. Sorry, my dishwasher's running in the back. 
Nothing I can do about it, gotta clean dishes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, the blaster pistol fits okay in his holster. Um, good enough where it's out of the way. And then we have his blaster rifle right here. Right in his hand, and it, you, he can two-hand it. He does have a, that stock kind of sticking out, poking out in the back, but I think it works out pretty well. So there is prototype Boba Fett now with the correct, accurate blasters. Anyway, here is uh, Lieutenant Oxio's, um, as I'm getting them in the backgrounds there, sorry about that. Uh, and this actually does fit in, I took out his E11 blaster and I gave him just this pistol. Kind of help him set himself apart from the others. Um, so I think it looks a lot better now. Here's a close-up of the blaster. And it fits right in his hand. It fits in both hands, no problem. And it also fits in his holster. So if you wanted to have him have it in his holster, it cinches right in there and it does not fall out. So no issues there with that. So if you want to have him holding a blaster and looking like a badass, you could do that. But, uh, and then here we have the SE-14C blaster pistol, which I think looks pretty good, especially in the Scout Trooper, and that's why I wanted to get it, to uh, give my Scout Troopers just a little bit, uh, at least one of them, a little bit of a, a different look. And he still has his Scout Trooper pistol in there too as a backup, but uh, I think the SE-14C fits the Scout Trooper well and looks really good. And here's a close-up of the blaster pistol. Really well done. And these uh, these do have a uh, kind of like a 3D printed texture to them. So you can tell that they are 3D printed. But they all look really good. I'm thoroughly happy. Um, and uh, yeah, you definitely have to go check out the prices there. I can't remember um, the prices. Um, sometimes the prices do fluctuate a little bit. So you'll have to check that out for yourselves. I hope that's okay. But here is the pistol in the other hand. He doesn't have a trigger finger in the other hand, but you could always, if you wanted to, you could always trim one of these fingers and make them separate and then pull the finger back and put it in the hole and turn this hand into a trigger finger hand if you wanted to. Uh, make him a lefty, which I think technically, um, since the holster's over here, he would have to be a lefty unless the pistol was facing the other way, kind of like Director Krennic. So, I mean, I guess you could put it the other way. Let me see. You could have it faced this way, like so. And then you could cross draw. So, either way, any way you want to do it, you can. But uh, they all look really good. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, as always. Like I said, I will leave the, um, the link for Shapeways in the description box below. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.